What's up guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. So what does it take for a company to get on my shelf? My shelf is not for every company. Not every company is gonna make it on my shelf. Not every company is gonna make it on the shelf that I support. I support these companies to the fullest. If any of these owners ever contact me and said, hey, would you buy something and review it for me, please? I would do it in a heartbeat. No problem. That's how much I support these companies. These companies are amazing. These are the best companies in the beard game. That's just in my opinion, of course. But as you know, I got rid of about 80% of my collection. The reason being is I, if I don't support all these companies, there's no reason to me having all these extra oils just going to waste. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of product. And I would much rather see it given to other people. Now, with that being said, what company is it that I'm about to review and do they make it on my shelf? What does it take for any of these companies to get on my shelf? You've got to have great sense. You've got to be a business owner or a company owner that doesn't involve herself in all the social social media drama. They're not always doing that childish stuff. I want a veteran-owned company. I want a small batch company that's that's honest with their consumers. I want high quality products. I want um, just a healthy looking beard all the time. I want my skin to feel good. I want my skin to feel healthy. I want something that my kid even enjoys. My kid loves beard oils, especially certain scents. He likes those fruity, obviously candy kind of scents and fruity scents and flowery scents. He likes those. And I, sometimes I put some oil in his hair or I put a little bit of butter on his elbows and hands and knees because he's always running around on the carpet. I want companies that offer amazing things. I want something the very first time I buy from a company and I put it in my beard, I want it to be a classic fill in beard. Does that give you a hint of who I'm reviewing? I hope so. So without further ado, let me review an amazing company for you. Out of New Jersey, I believe that's right, we have Classic Grooming Beard Company. Very elegant, very classy, and I hate to use the play on classic grooming, but it's a very classy, sophisticated, beautiful, beautiful label. Offers a small view window for those that care about viewing windows, which I do. And it's just a simple black and white label, but it is so classy, so stylish, so elegant. One ounce beard oils cost $17.95. They offer one cent currently, and I'm sure in the future they're going to offer many, many more cents to come, but I kind of appreciate them launching with one cent. Reason being is they didn't, excuse my French, but they didn't half-ass anything. They put everything into one, and I really appreciate that. And the next cent, I'm sure it'll be the same thing, and so on and so on. Some companies launch with 15, 20 cents, you know, I mean, you'd have to put a lot of time in to make sure each one is perfect, but they put all their time into this one and it is perfect. Now, their oils are pretty much clear. Uh, I don't really get any color out of them, but again, a very thin, or not thin, very clear oil. It's about a medium weight is what I'm getting with it. Um, really, really great filling beard super light, super soft, gives your beard a healthy glow. And I don't mean greasy, I'm talking a healthy glow. Um, there is a huge difference between greasy and a, a healthy looking beard. <clears throat> now, this stuff is really, really great at locking in and holding in all the moisture that you're gonna need for all day long. Um, I work around concrete dust, drywall dust, um, just dirt from the floors, crawling under houses, getting in attics, insulation, and it lasts all day long. That's a really good plus for me. So, scent profile. The scent profile on this is a subtle, warm, rich tobacco. Um, when I when I first smelled it, it it's just, it's not a it's not a basic simple tobacco vanilla, but it's a tobacco rich, warm cigar earthy uh, tobacco with uh, with a subtle sweet hint of like vanilla and cedar wood and maybe some patchouli in there. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it's, it's just so good. It is a very masculine scent and it's not a very strong scent. If you know me, I like really strong scents, but there are also times that I like those more 
just me kind of scents. When I walk into the room, this is a scent that no one else is really going to smell unless they're right up close to me. It is a very, very nice scent. Now, it does last about five to seven hours, five to six hours, somewhere right in that range. And that's 100% perfect for me. Um, I've been wearing this one a lot during the day and at night. Um, it is a nice, smooth, again, nice, smooth, rich, relaxing scent for nighttime. And it's a really nice scent for the day as well. Now, the ingredients on this oil are as follows. It is apricot oil, <clears throat> excuse me, apricot oil, jojoba, avocado, castor, amla oil, Jamaican black castor, vitamin E, and essential oil blend. Now, if you notice, it does have, they do have two different types of castor oil in there. They have regular castor and Jamaican black castor. If you know me, I'm a fan of castor oil. Um, <clears throat> it's all on how much you apply and when you apply it when you're doing your grooming process, I guess you could say. Um, I've, I've, I've found personally for me and quite a few other people as well, actually, if you leave your beard a little bit more damp when you're putting on something with uh, castor oil castor oil in it, it, it does so much more for your beard. Um, a lot of people let their beard get too dry and then put in something that has castor oil in it and they don't like it. It, it, give, it gives a greasy feeling or you know, it, too much extra on their beard. So it's all on how you apply that. Keep that in mind with castor oil. Now, these ingredients are really great. The amla oil, wow, it is amazing, amazing stuff. I've done a little bit of research on it previously, and then I kind of refreshed refreshed my memory on it um, after I seen that it was in this product. Amla oil is very, very good for your hair. It's good for your skin. Um, it's it's kind of comparable to emu oil, honestly. Um, obviously, it's not a animal fat like emu oil is, but it's kind of the equivalent of it, but it's plant-based, if that makes sense. <clears throat> now, again, amazing scent, really great filling beard. Super happy with this oil. I also have the three, I believe it's three ounce. Let me double check. Yep. Three fluid ounce of the beard butter. It also is $17.95, same label, very beautiful, very classy again. Now, their beard butter is a white butter. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I've been using it a lot during the day and a lot at night. Now, this is a not your typical... Certain beard butters give you a super light filling beard, and some of them are more of a heavy body, heavy body butter and give you that more stylish kind of look to it. This is where it gets kind of cool. This is a very thick, heavy bodied butter, but once you break it down and put it in your beard, your beard is light, fluffy feeling. It locks in moisture better than probably any butter I've ever seen before. And that's saying a lot because I've seen a lot of butters. But this this has got some serious lock-in power. It holds in all that moisture. And when you wake up in the morning, if you're a nighttime butter user, you wake up in the morning, your beard is still going to feel nourished, soft. It's still going to have that healthy-looking glow to it. It is really, really cool how, that, how they got the heavy-bodied butter to not only lock in the moisture like a heavy-body butter, but also give you that light fluffy feel and look to your beard. It does offer a little bit of styling uh, hold, I guess you would say with it, but very little. The ingredients on these are on this butter is shea butter, mango butter, jojoba oil, Jamaican black castor, amla oil, and essential oil blend. Very, very much, very, very good stuff. I personally, usually when I buy something from companies, like especially a new company, I get just the oil, but I got both and I'm highly glad I did. And I highly suggest grabbing both of these grab the oil and the butter together they really really do some great stuff over the last week i have had i think one bad beard day which is really good for me normally i have like four to five bad beard days out of the week um my beard has felt super soft it has just been so really 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 great experience they do offer a beard wash and uh let me check my notes here sorry they offer an 8-ounce beard wash for $19.95. is in a peppermint and tea tree scent. And they also offer a, a beard conditioner, also 8 ounces. And it is also $19.95. But the beard conditioner is unscented. So keep that in mind. Um, I am going to be getting the wash and uh, beard conditioner up next. They also offer... Um, merchandise, uh, like swag, whatever you want to call it, also on their website. Uh, 
Besides that, overall, this is a 100% keeper. I am 100% on the bandwagon with this company. I'm on the train. Uh, we're going to stay on these tracks for a long, long time. Really, really solid company. Jump on it. It's. I can't really say much more. It has been a really, really great experience. Uh, getting to know these products, I'm going to continue to be. I'm going to continue to be wearing them, um, and I can't wait till the next scent. Besides that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely check out Classic Grooming. Um, if you look it up on the internet, go to Classic Grooming Co. as in company. dot com, and it'll pop you right up to it. Super great uh, website. Very easy to navigate. Um, it's set up really beautifully. They have great pictures. Um, definitely check out their little story on their um, about us section, I guess you would call it. Besides that, guys, let me know what you think about the review. Let me know if you've tried this company. If you have, did you enjoy it as much as I did? And besides that, have an amazing, amazing Sunday, and I'll catch you guys later.